In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this plant-based effect in Unreal Engine 5.4 in under 5 minutes. To start off, I'm using this Roman sculpture which I found in Quixel Bridge. I'm also using some plant assets that I found in there, and I'll show you a screenshot of the specific assets right now. Once you get those assets downloaded, I'm using medium quality by the way, you can add these three grass clumps to the scene. Um, I am also using only one of these clovers. And then you can select all the plants, and I put all the locations on the zero just to match where the Roman sculpture is. And then that way I can also see the relation of the plants to the sculpture, and right now they're way too big, so I'm going to make them 0.1. And now with all the assets in, I'm going to go into motion design mode. If you can't find it, make sure your plugin for motion design is enabled. Now I'm going to go to actor, I'm going to hit the cloner actor, and I'm going to pop that into my scene. I'm going to go to cloner. And I'm going to make sure everything is zeroed out so it matches the Roman sculpture exactly, including the rotation. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this default cube. Yes. And we're going to take all the plants and we're going to put them into the cloner. First, we have to make them movable. And now that they're in the cloner, we can go back to the cloner and we can switch from grid to mesh. And we can take this picker tool and select our Roman sculpture. And now two weird things happen. First, the texture of the plants turns gray and the rotation is wrong. So to fix the texture, which is a bug, we want to go to this Z location and just add a 1 at the end of the point zero 01. And that fixes the texture. Now we want to fix the rotation. So we're going to add an effector. I'm going to rename it effector rotation. And now I'm going to change it from a sphere to unbound. And I'm going to make the negative, I'm going to make the Y value negative 90. And now I'm going to go back to the cloner and I'm going to add the effector I just created. And that rotates the plants so that they're at a better angle in relation to the sculpture. And I'm going to increase the count to about 4,000. I kind of like this. There's like 200. So the higher you make this, the more plants there are. I like a really green man, so I'm making it pretty dense. And now all we have to do is add the animation effect. So I'm going to put in another effector. I'm going to rename this one effector animation. And now I'm going to change it from a sphere to plane. Um, you can also play with the easing. I'm going to do in out cubic, but, but you can play with it. It has some fun effects. And I'm going to change the scale to zero. This allows the foliage to grow as it goes through. Um, so now I'm going to add this effector to the cloner. I'm going to hit a plus button to add another effector. And I'm going to add effector animation. And now when I'm on the effector animation, oh, one thing I'm going to do to make this more manageable is also put it at zero coordinates. And I'm going to make the scale 0.1. And when I hit G to see my icons, you can see where it's located. And now you can see it taking effect on the man. So I'm going to rotate it so that it affects the hair first. Wrong way. Yeah, something like this. And then if you want to make it more gradual of an increase, you can increase this. If you want to make it more sharper, you can decrease it. I kind of like it at 150. And now all we have to do is add it to our sequencer, and then we can make a little video of it. So I already have a sequencer, but if you don't, you can just add one right there. So I just grab my effector animation and drag it in here, and then I hit this little plus button, and I go to transform. I'm going to go to frame 0, and I'm going to make a key, and I'm going to go to frame 6. I'm going to drag my effector animation down, and I'm going to make another key. And now, when I hit play, I'm going to hit G to hide my icons. When I hit play, well... Let me put it at zero first. And now when I hit play, you can see the effect taking place. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was fun to create. It's my first tutorial I've ever made, so if you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, thank you.